how's it going guys welcome back to another video on the channel it's your boy British chat aka Dan uh, and we're back with Broadchurch thank goodness I've been waiting all week for this one episode 5 season 3 we're over halfway now guys we're at that point where things are gonna start happening now guys before we get into this video can I just ask you two huge favors can we smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week I have this really really ambitious goal to have 500 subscribers by the end of January guys it's such an ambitious goal I know uh, but you guys have been amazing so far and with your support I really think it's possible and I can do it I'm so excited guys this channel has been an amazing journey so far and I'm only just getting started uh, and yet basically I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's watched so far all my Broadchurch viewers obviously that's you in this video uh, you guys have all been absolutely amazing one last thing actually if you don't follow my Instagram that's where I will be doing the poll for which show to watch next. So if you want to take a part in, in that poll and, and, and help me decide what to react to next, do follow my Instagram, British Chat with two Ps. I'll leave the link in the description below. That's where the most updates occur, guys, on my Instagram. Uh, if I'm ever going to be absent, if a video is ever going to be late, uh, sometimes previews, all sorts of different things, discussions. That's where it happens, guys. And if you even want to interact with me directly, uh, Instagram is the way to go. So don't forget to give me a follow. Now, what happened last episode? If you haven't seen that reaction, as usual guys, don't forget to click somewhere up here. It was insane. Broadchurch always is. But for anyone that's more interested in a quick little summary, I'm just going to go over it now. Basically, one of the biggest things that happened last reaction is we found out who the person Trish was having sex with the morning of the attack. This person was her best friend's husband. Uh, and f for me, guys, it just makes this case even more complicated because Trish didn't want to disclose that because she didn't want to lose her best friend. And that's understandable now that you see it. Uh, but it's such a horrible thing to even do in the first place. Now that's going to come out. I don't. Uh, this is Broadchurch, guys. They're not just going to have that some, something like that happen and not bring it out or expose it. So that's going to come out, uh, and there's definitely going to be more sorts of drama. I mean, maybe it wasn't just once. Maybe it was multiple times. And when she tried to cut it off with him, he got mad. And I don't know. There, there's so many different possibilities, guys. Like I mentioned, I've been kept clueless this whole series so far. My biggest bet's still the taxi driver, but even then. I've started to ease off of thinking it was him, to be honest. I I have no idea. I really want to try and guess who it is before it happens, but that's my point, guys. At the moment, it's just a guess. Now, guys, there are a couple of other things that happened last reaction. Most notably, what's happening with Mark Latimer. He's obviously just got a private investigator find, to find Joe Miller's address and his details, his new name, all these different things. That scares the crap out of me because Mark is a ticking time bomb and everyone around him is refusing to help him or go with him or, or mediate this process. So he's by himself. He's going to do something by himself. I don't know what it is. And I do hope they bring back Joe Miller, but not in some sort of circumstance where it ends up in one of them dying. It's so stressful to watch, so I'm just hoping that Mark can sort himself out, maybe get back with Beth. I really hope that does resolve itself, by the way. Mark and Beth, because they need each other, no matter how much they didn't deny it. And just two more things, guys. Firstly, what happened with Alex's daughter? There was a certain scene when Chloe Latimer turned up to the house and said, I, I know what happened. I think thought you might need a friend and she looks depressed she looks distraught about something now if my prediction at the start of the season was right one of Alex's character arcs in this season has been his urgency to try and uh, resolve this case as soon as possible so someone else doesn't get attacked being as this is a sexual predator they've made that very explicit and multiple times bringing that back up I've got a weird feeling that some form of sexual assault happened to Alex's daughter and she's now concealing it something definitely happened that we just don't know about yet. I'm hoping that we get some more insight into that. This this reaction, uh, it was insane to like just sit there and be like, "What are you talking about?" Because you know how they have those cut scenes. It's horrible. Uh, but that's why I'm here for this next one. And lastly, guys, right at the end of that reaction, we ended up with another uh, victim who'd who'd come clean, someone who'd concealed for for months and months and months and months. She came forward and described the rape situation, and it had the same mo and same sort of stamp as the, the original guy who's done it to Trish, which means it's very likely that these two people are the same. Anyway, I'm done talking. All of this summarizing has got me way too excited to watch the reaction. Uh, so without further ado, guys, let's straight into it. My name is Laura Benson. I live at 19 Hazel Grove, Kingsbury. So she's actually making an official statement. Well, well done. Very, very, very brave girl. I read about the woman who was raped. I was walking home from the pub. The Rising Sun in Abbott's Chapel. Been a big deal, place was packed. Another music. party thing. Late knock in. I was about to look behind me. I don't know why, I could just sense someone running at me. Oh I think my. Me. Oh, say exactly the same emo. From behind. I didn't tell anyone. Till now. Concealed it. Such a common thing, why guys. Do you want to report us at the time. 
when people think because someone dresses in a certain way or or they present themselves in a certain way or they're they're, they're drinking or they're doing all these things that that's some sort of welcoming for people to just feel entitled to them you know how like disgusting that is like they can't just wear whatever the heck they want without having people think that they've got some sort of like rights over them like for me guys i just that just makes me so annoyed watching it like for someone to be go and prey on people at places like that find a specific type of person it's just premeditation it it's just disgusting how can you have a brain that sits there and spends that much time praying and damaging people it's it's horrible I want you to know it doesn't matter how long ago this was. We'll investigate this as thoroughly and robustly as we can. Hopefully, we they get put behind now. bars for a long time. A long but time. We need support if you've got anyone to talk to. Who is this? Sh surely this is the husband of the of the wife. Oh, he's gonna be. This is gonna be drama, like I just said. Absolute drama. They want me, Trish. I didn't do it. Oh, he's going the wrong way about this. We owe the truth. Do we? Really? How's that going to help? You see, I told you, she I'll wants to tell her. Mistake. You tell her. I'm going to have to pack my bags. Might not be like that. Of course it bloody will. It's only yeah, her it's right to me. find out. Wait. He, he does not look happy. You have no idea what you're letting yourself in for. Oh, did he just threaten her? Maybe he knows who it was. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. We'd like you to come to the station to answer some questions. He is not a nice person at all. Aaron Mayford, I'm arresting you in connection with an incident of sexual assault on May in the Axhampton area. He is definitely a guilty guy, guys. I'm not like doubting that whatsoever. But I am questioning whether I think he's guilty or not of that crime because it seems too obvious like he's got connections to it but for me it just seems so obvious and like I don't know how to explain it like it could just be a coincidence like if it's purely coincidence it's purely coincidence you know maybe he has had issues maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna take down multiple sexual assault p people maybe that's maybe that's where this is leading I don't know I don't know I just I just don't, I don't think it is what route did you take same as usual out on the St. Andrews Road, onto the Coast Road, down to the car park. Except you didn't. Either way. Ooh! Uh, they've the already CCTV, looked at... CCTV, your car didn't go that route in either direction. Okay, it's to... not looking good for him at all. You must have missed me. Nah, Bolt, you were doing something up. else. What? what fish did you catch? Ooh! Mackerel. How many? A dozen or so. It's not difficult. Where are they? You could probably do it. And if we were to look in your freezer, we find the remainder of the mackerel in there. No. That's if she hasn't been at them while I've been here. She's gonna lie for him. Ever been to Flintcomb Farm Shop? Yes. I used to do the IT support. See, all of these things Company are pointing towards them. The contract. This isn't gonna end well, I can tell. I need to talk to you about something. Oh, this is not going to be fun for her. Me and Jim, we had sex. Saturday morning. Oh, jeez. <laughs> her best friend is going to break you. standards have slipped. Oh! Bro, I am shocked. I mean, for her to be mad is completely bloody warranted, but, like, that reaction? Her standards have slipped. Bro, you're hurting, and I know that, but that is a dig you you just dug. Like, seriously, you're bringing yourself down to someone else's level. Like, Trish is the one that did the issue, and instead of you being the one who takes the moral high ground, you dipped the level of that. Like, oh. God, this isn't going well. This is just going to be drama. Bloody hell, here we go. I'm sorry. Why'd you do it, then, if you're so bloody sorry? It's kind of true. Like, why did you do it? I mean, you know you're not the first, don't you? It's no, kind of sad, man. Like, that's just gross. Of course you know that. I let you into my confidence. No, and I'm sorry. If you say I'm sorry one more fucking time. Sorry doesn't change anything. Like, you've just gone and broke your best friend. Um, so, thought I owed it you to tell uh, you because we're mates. Oh, no, 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 my love. No, we're not mates. How could you still be mates after that? Like, you've right. just had sex with your husband. Of all the women, 
at that party. Don't. Don't. Why would somebody rape you? Oh, wow. Wow. You really dug there, didn't you? For goodness sakes. She literally just made me go from feeling really horrible and bad for her to honestly, like, still feeling like what Trish did was shit. But at the same time, you just made yourself look like an absolutely horrible person. God's sake, this show. <sighs> I know it's not like real and stuff, but I can feel the pain going in that room right now. It's so malicious. Get out. Yeah, that's it. Both of you have done horrible things now. Wow. You're stupid. But you think you're smart. Oh. And now she's right to your life whenever I choose. Oh my god! Oh my is she gonna try and blame him? I'd be shitting myself right now. She's gonna try and make him the suspect of the police. I, I guarantee that's what's about to happen. There are literally threats flying around around everywhere. Kath's husband to Trish, Kath to her husband. Holy crap, like literally everything's falling apart right now. Beth Letterman is downstairs saying she needs an urgent word with you. Oh no. Yeah, we had a client about 11 months ago. Oh, she a different client. Us, but never talked to the police. On the way out of Budmouth. She was on her way home after a party. Same she emote. Walked, gagged with an old sock. He's done something. Don't know what it is. Can I have a caravan or not? That's all I want to know. No. Sorry? No. Oh. You, can't. you don't treat people very well. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you were the one that raped her. Oh. There you go, Susan. Bro, there's ac accusations going across everywhere right now. You off somewhere? Yeah. A little break. Just, you know, just get that space. Oh, God, this is not going to end well. I can Go feel it. Yourself, Mark. Always. No way is he going to actually go and kill him. He's serious about this right now. Mark is fully serious about this right now. He is heading towards Joe with a hammer and a box cutter. Oh, God. I hope we get to see Joe Miller back at some point, but not like this. Danielle Lawrence. Yeah, that's weird. People don't normally know my name. Girlfriend. Oh, Where were you on the night of not good. the 28th of May? Oh, right, yeah. In the Anglers with my boyfriend, Leah. Has he made her... Oh, me, is this an alibi that he's forced on her? For the months, on and off. Um, we'd like to ask you to come to the station just to sign a statement confirming what you've told us. Basically just says, if you're lying, you'll go to prison for perjury. Oh. We'll Ellie, <laughs> her little face. Hey, I hate it, her dad. Oh, wow, you'll get used to it. Someone took my phone. And they went through my photos, and in my photos, there was a picture, and they sent it to everyone. Oh, he know. God, this is all negative, this episode. Far out. Please came like you said. What did you say? What you told me to. I knew it. Straight away. You said if I was lying, I could go to prison. Nah, I am so suspicious over him now as well. Too many suspect. Oh, could it have been multiple people? James slept to a trash. Oh. He is not going to be happy. Jim and Trish. Morning of my he already hates Jim as well. She wouldn't do that. Funny though, I saw you with Trish. Looked like quite an intense chap. I said pull over before I smack you hard. Oh shoot. Do you know who you were talking to? Hmm? So many... Find out about your wife, your kids, your pets. And I can very easily make your life much more of a misery than it must already be. There's threats going over everywhere. Right. There's so many different theories I've got in my head, and, and so many different ways that different people tie to the scene. I, I can't, I can't think. But there are threats flying everywhere. He's threatening people left, right, and centre. 
which makes him look so suspicious. Is he about to find him? Is this really about to happen? You have one new message. Mark is me. Can you call me please? She does still care. This is scaring me so much. Joe Miller! He came back! I was given this number to call. Only... I don't know whether my dog might have found something pertinent. Oh! Oh shit. No! Oh my god. I just noticed Pedro had it in his mouth. No idea where he found it or how long Sock. he Sock! I'm confused, what's happening? Me when you change. My turn to wash again. Unless I can get a lucky lady to do it for me. The amount- Socks! Oh, I just saw that! Dude! Oh my god! Who is that? No way! Guys, this show is horrible to me. I've just finished watching Attack on Titan. That left me on a cliffhanger. I've just finished watching Broadchurch. That left me on so many different cliffhangers. How am I not going to watch the next one? Like, I've been watching shows for so many hours now. Like, come on. Why do you have to do this to me? Dude, that episode was insane. So much came to light, guys. Literally so much. Where do I start, guys? First things first. I'm thinking Mark Latimer. Like, that situation right there. What's going to happen? We, we've just seen Joe Miller for the first time this season. The first time. And Mark is on the verge of making a decision which will change everything. And either he's going to kill Joe, hurt Joe. I guess I can't really say much else about that other than I'll have to wait till the next episode. This episode to me, guys, just felt like everything's falling apart. Everything's falling down the drain. You know, Kath and Trish's friendship, it's gone now. You know, Trish slept with Kath's husband. Kath went biting back at her with all these horrible things. Kath's husband, I, don't, I can't even remember his name. He was, he threatened Trish, and then he threatened the taxi driver, and then he, he's just threatening all these different types of people. Even Kath is threatening her husband. Like, threats are going everywhere, guys. All over the place. Even Alex suffering now a loss, as his daughter's just going through something traumatizing as, well, you know, nude photos of her would have just been released out to all these different people. And now Broadchurch has become a living hell. For her. Ebonet's furious. He, he's, he's obviously in love with Trish. He's furious at the husband. He goes and beats him up. My best bet still lies with the taxi driver. I mean, it could be that guy that owns the fishing store. I don't know. I'm still clueless and we're up to episode 6. Guys, so much is running through my brain right now. This has been absolutely insane. Uh, and I, I, I don't really know what else to say. Broadchurch has been fantastic and I'm really upset actually that it's going to end in 3 more. You know, it's, it's been such a good show and keeping me guessing and it's... It's fantastic. If, if there's ever a show that's similar to Broadchurch, it's definitely going to be high up there in terms of what I'd want to watch. I just hope that this season can have some sort of peaceful resolution for all the characters. Mark, Beth, Alec, Ali, and all these new characters as well. Some sort of peaceful resolution uh, where the, the rapist goes away for a long time. A very long time. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to talk about this too much longer. I'm probably going to watch another episode tonight, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dial this summary or post-reaction summary right down and keep it nice and short. If you don't follow my Instagram, guys, don't forget to do that. I can't stress this enough. This is where I update everything about my YouTube channel, where I'll be doing polls for what to watch next and all these different things. So do follow me, British Tap with two Ps. The link is in the description below, guys. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give this a massive thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And for anyone new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. This has been your boy, British Chat, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.